In this example, we're asked to compute this path integral in uh, three-dimensional space. So this curve lives in three-dimensional space, and the function is a function of three variables. But um, the idea of it is no different than if there was just a curve or a path in two-dimensional space. So the integrand here is x e to the y z, and the curve itself is just a portion of a line, so a line segment between the origin and the point one, two, three. So the first step is to parametrize this, so I'll write this in blue, but our parametric function here, our vector function to parametrize the curve, it's a line segment, it starts at the origin, so this is actually pretty simple uh, parametrization. This is just gonna be t, 2t, 3t, okay? And then for this to be true, for this to take us from the origin to this point, then the domain has to be from zero to one. Okay, now remember when you parametrize a space curve, um, there is not a unique answer in general. There are usually you can find many different parametrizations that will give you the same space curve. So you just need one of them. And in this case, I chose what in my opinion is the easiest one, or is an easy one at least. Um, if you come up with a different one, that's fine. Okay, as long as it's the same line segment, that's fine. You can use any parametrization that you want. Now, one thing that you have to be careful of is that whatever your parametrization is, it has to have the direction, right? The or the orientation um, that takes you from the origin out to the point one, two, three. That's the only thing that you should be really, really careful to check. All right, um, the other thing that we need here is that once we have our vector function, we are going to need, by the way, uh, what we've done here is we've made choices for x, y and z, these are going to get plugged into our function up here, okay, when we when we have to actually integrate. The next thing that we need is we need, because of this ds here, we have to compute r dot and then take its length. Again, this vector function is not too crazy, so r dot is just the vector 1, 2, 3, and the length of r dot, this is just the distance formula, so this is 1 plus 4 plus 9, this is the square root of 14. Okay, so at this point we can plug into our integral. We're probably going to need more paper here or more room to compute it, but let's write it down first. We need to plug in x, y, z to our equation up here. This is then going to be, and by the way, our integral is now from 0 to 1. It's an integral in terms of t. Um, x is equal to t. y times z is 6t squared, so this becomes e to the 6t squared. Uh, and then it's not just dt, I almost wrote down dt there, but it's the uh, length of r dot, so square root of 14 dt, and this is what we need to compute right here. This is our integral. Okay, so I we need some more room. We don't need a ton more room though, so I'm just gonna draw a little line here and compute this down here. So I'm gonna rewrite it. The square root 14 obviously can be factored out and then we need to integrate 0 to 1, t e to the 6t squared dt. This can be done by a u sub, so this is fairly simple, but if u is equal to 6t squared, then du is equal to 12t, so that means we need a 12 here, we take away a 12 out here, usual shenanigans here, this is calc 3, so we're used to all this, right? When t is 1, u is 6, when t is 0, u is 0. And so our integral now becomes square root of 14 over 12. Integral from 0 to 6, e to the u du, and no problem there, right? So our answer is that this should be square root of 14 over 12 times the difference e to the 6 minus e to the 0, or just 1. All right, and so that's the path integral um, of this function along this path in three-dimensional space.